Hey everyone, welcome back to more Warhammer 40,000 Sanctus Reach. I'm Disturbing Puppet, and we are continuing the Horrors of the Warp DLC today. We are starting the last mission today, actually. So let's continue from where we left off. Uh, probably about an hour to hour and a half today, we'll get progress on it. Uh, it's very, very unlikely we'll make it through, because the story missions typically are pretty long in this campaign. So I'll be very surprised if this one is anything short of probably three hours, something like that total to finish. It's the last mission, so it's uh, kind of sad in a way, but uh, oh well, we'll see how it goes. All right, prophecy fulfilled. A massive cornate demon engine rolled out from the smoky haze of the Immaterium. That sounds like a Lord of Skulls. Uh, powered and embellished by the remains of its victims, the Lord of Skulls' sole purpose is absolute destruction. Logan Grimnar must finish this now, or all is lost. So this kind of is weird because it's sort of like building it up, but I've already destroyed like two or three of these things and fought them a few times. So the grotesque battle construct's voice boomed across the battlefield, viciously vowing to slaughter the wolves of Fenris and claim Logan Grimnar's skull for the blood god. Logan gripped the axe Morkai tight and bared his fangs as he felt the wrathful eye of Korn settle on him. He realized the machine didn't just want destruction, it wanted revenge. He suddenly recalled the dark origins of his axe, the War of Armageddon, where he claimed the fell blade after defeating a champion of Korn and banishing the traitors back to the warp. The all storm caller's prophecy echoed in his mind. The weapons of wrath alone shall sunder the beast unchained. Hope stirred within his breast. He knew what he had to do. Um, okay, if I have to use that weapon to destroy it, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Because the Lord of Skulls can just absolutely destroy pretty much anything that it comes in contact with in close combat. So maybe it'll do extra damage or something, but I feel like I probably want to whittle it down before I have him anywhere near it. Uh, maybe I can't destroy it without him actually finishing it off. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. Maybe it'll take reduced damage from other sources, but if that's the case, like if he gets into close combat, it, that thing hits him a few times. He's dead. All right, it's going to be one of these, so we're going to start. We're going to have to wind our way through fighting, which is kind of a hassle. Um, a lot of these kind of follow the same scenario. Chaos does have some flying units, so we'll have to keep an eye out for them kind of peering. Uh, but we're going to have to fight our way through and just wind our way around through all the canyons. Probably the Lord of Skulls is at the end, although it might come forward. All right, what do we have for this fight? Well, we have a Land Raider, which is fairly decent. We do have Logan Grimnar. So, Mr. Grimnar, Morkai, 100 power, 98 piercing. That's not bad, but it's not fantastic, and you're not super tough. So, yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, Land Raider, uh, you're super close to leveling up. Let's take you. Uh, my Whirlwind, definitely. I've oh, got 8,000 points. It's a ton. Uh, Venerable Dreadnought, sure. Uh, I'll take all the Dreadnoughts. Give me all the Dreadnoughts. Give me all the tanks, because we're going to need all of it. Okay, Ragnar's really good at killing infantry, so that's nice. Um, let's see. Got some upgraded heavy bolters. You've got extra armor. You've got... what is that? Stalker site. Okay. Let's take the upgraded ones for sure. Eh, let's just grab everybody. Um, alright. You've got Seeker ammo. You've got Mastercrafted and Anti-Infantry. Extra armor. And better in close combat. And take all of the Terminators. Thank you very much. Land speeders, we've got armor piercing rounds, we've got armor piercing rounds, and anti infantry. We will take all of you. Thank you. Laz cannons, nobody's leveled up. Um, I'll probably take them. A missile team, possibly. What is that? Okay, let's move the map around or something. I want to take a look at this upgrade if, I, if it's going to let me. There we go. Okay, you get heals for killing stuff in infantry. All right, yeah, sure. You're pretty quick. Um, they've got an Auspex, which is decent. Wolf Priest. We've got a couple, actually. Now, I'll take the one with some experience. Um, it wouldn't be bad to have some bikers to scout. Um, yeah, sure. And you've got arm pressing rounds, so yes, come along. You've got arm pressing rounds, yes. Uh, you've got a melt -a bomb that's potentially useful. You've got assault squads. Photon flash, that's what? Rad or scare grenade. Healing and healing. Um, that's tempting because I can heal. Uh, we can fly around, heal guys, and then kind of go from there. 
Bjorik, how armor does armor piercing rounds? Let's take you. I'm kind of focusing on armor piercing rounds because it helps against demons, but it also is going to help against anything big like the Lord of Skulls. So I'm kind of going heavy on like our really elite units here. A lot of vehicles too, but I'll try to keep them back and protected initially. Thunder hammers are tempting. At least take one. I'd like to maybe grab a las cannon too, but I'm kind of running out of points. The missile team is helpful because we can use them for kind of artillery, but then also hitting single targets. So yeah, let's take you, I guess. They heal on their own. Uh, the thunder wolf, maybe. And that are a bunch of assault. Well, I can take two assault squads. Yeah, that's all I can afford now. I'm kind of down at lower in points. Uh, 250. It's nothing really cheap. You know, Eggle's only 40. But he's not that helpful, honestly, at this point. Probably a couple assault squads. Um, I think that's Photon Flash Grenade. That's Scare, I think. A couple healers. You're close to leveling up. Alright, stick the two guys that are fairly close to leveling up because they might get some useful upgrades. So I have a couple assault squads as well. Um, we'll kind of go with a whole lot of stuff there and hope for the best. I'm assuming we're going to have just waves of stuff come at us. Um, we are kind of funneled through these canyons. And unfortunately, I don't have a way to sort of change my layout. We're not going to get any cool cutscene or anything, huh? Okay. I'll try to straighten this out. So we have Logan Grimnar in the center of our mighty, mighty host. And spin her around. Okay, so... Fairly open. Deployment's not terrible. So Ragnar's out on the left. Um, he helps all the infantry near him get extra movement, so I might want to have him kind of hang out with the Terminators, because otherwise they're going to be pretty slow. I can throw some Terminators into the Land Raider, but I think we're better off just deploying and moving slowly. There's no turn limit. We can just take our time. Um, we've got some wrecks up here, so we have to go through. We've got an objective here. That's probably going to be defended. Then we'll have to swing the left, which is going to be a little bit of a mess. It's pretty tight. And then move on. More wrecks. Come down. All the way around. More crap. Finally get to another objective, it looks like. All right. Okay, you guys... Get health back. Where are my bikers? Let's do some scouting. Okay, we do have a few demons there. I'm going to go ahead and auspex because we are seeing some stuff. Ooh, okay. Got quite a few. So I've got secret ammo so I can hit them. That means everyone else will have an increased chance to hit them. might stay there or we might bail. We'll kind of see. What can my artillery hit? Not much. Uh, let's go ahead and move up as much as possible with you. Let's kind of come over this way. Okay. I don't have great positioning for my artillery. I was hoping I could fire back into here. Uh, might hit a couple over this way, I guess. We'll go that way. Okay, demonettes are dead. All right. Got three heavy bolters. Missile team's here. All right, missile team. Let's see if we can throw some frag down range. Come over here. Hoping I could get something back further. Not quite. All right, there's some debris there. That's kind of a problem. Uh, we'll spread some frag around, I guess. 
It's not going to do much, but we'll do a little bit of damage to each of them. It's better against demonettes and lighter enemies. Uh, I'll go with other heavy weapons and see if I can get them in position. You, I don't think we can get anywhere in range. Yeah, we do have some shots. Okay, sure. Why not? We will have some pretty wicked damage fall off at this range, though, probably. I'm just going to charge right into the enemy. You don't have any shots. That's kind of surprising. I could blow up some terrain. Guess we could light this up, because I can't shoot anything else. Just expose them a little bit more, give us a little bit better visibility. Okay, come on out. Do have some Nurgle stuff a little further back. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and move you off kinda to the side. I'll try to get everybody else clumped in here. Alright, I'll move the slow stuff, head out, bring the Terminators in, no shots. Leave them with a little bit of clearing for range shots in case anything moves up. I'm assuming they'll just come charging at us, but... If they don't have anything too fast, we should have enough firepower to kind of rip anything apart that wants to come our way. Okay, you guys are screwed now. No damage fall off, extra damage against infantry. Those terminators are just going to shred stuff. Okay, no shots. Right, Logan Grimnar, what can you do? You regenerate every turn. You've got Mastercrafted Weapons, Storm Bolter, 30% force field against ranged attacks. Actually, this is from all attacks, so I'm not sure if that actually will work in close combat. Rally, so getting some morale back to people. Anti-infantry ammo, better in close combat. All right. Let's have you head up over here for now. There's Krom as well. So Rally, Mastercrafted Weapon with a Bolt Pistol, Belt of Russ, Triple Melee Attack, Tempest Ammo, Stalker Sight. Still just a Bolt Pistol, though. Much better in close combat. Um, yeah, you can kind of handle yourself, I guess. Charge ahead like a maniac. We've got some other backup we can send up there, so that's fine. Armor piercing rounds, that's what, photon, flash grenade. I don't think any flyers or anything are going to show up here quite yet, but I'll keep a look to the side just in case. Bjorik has a pretty decent weapon, armor piercing rounds. So we'll just kind of head up, get in the line. All right, let's see if I can actually get anybody else. Maybe we can get shots with these guys. I can shoot through my own units, as long as it's just one in front of me. All right, so that does give me some shots. Uh, let's pick these guys off, I guess. Or not. Do 
the same here. Take a few pot shots. Uh, I could hit a different target. Let's hit them. Just kind of whittling them down. I won't take reaction shots if I'm behind my own guys like this, but I can freely shoot through on my turn. Um, I don't want to block you guys, so let's come around here. The advance of the Dreadnoughts. Okay. Artillery's moved. Tanks would be next. We'll keep land speeders central for now. Let's get my priest kind of in the middle. Anybody gets hurt, we'll try to cycle them in and out for healing. For now, let's just come out here on the edge. Ragnar, let's head towards the Terminators. I want to give them that movement boost if possible. Um, he's got a bolt pistol, frost fang, which is really good in close combat. Pretty similar kinds of stuff. He's got a special counter or attack that can't be counterattacked. We can rally guys. Let me go right here. Have some close combat troops sort of mixed in the line as we move up is always helpful. All right, you can't get anywhere super helpful. Let's see where the tanks can go first before I mess around with anything else. Um, I could park right behind the front line. That's not terrible. Can at least get some shots off that way. Uh, let's see if I can pick these guys off. Oh, not enough. And the Dreadnought will probably block my own sight, so let's go here. Hey, level up instantly. Um, extra range and accuracy is pretty nice. Um, elite anti-infantry ammo. That would definitely help my bolters if I want to kill stuff up close. The autocannon fires limited numbers of shots, so it can only kill a couple guys from a squad. Um, but again, the demons, like some of them, like the plague bears you can see there, only have three in a squad. So it would help. The extra range and accuracy is nice but I still have damage fall off at range. So, yeah, I'll take the anti-infantry ammo, I guess. We'll see how that works. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try it out on the plate bears. Okay, didn't seem like much, but we are shooting at range, so... There is going to be damage fall off. Last cannons here. Yeah, I can get you right in the line, so, you know, why not? Who wants to suck some las cannon shots? Mr. Poxbringer? Yay, nice! Okay, so we can go Mastercrafted Weapons, so that reduces damage falloff. I don't know if there's damage falloff for the las cannons, though. Um, Anti-infantry ammo won't affect the las cannons, just the bolters, so it would make the bolters way more powerful. Just in the off chance that this will affect las cannons at range. I'm going to take the Mastercrafted Weapons. And I do tend to automatically shoot with the bolters, not the las cannons. So, I mean, it will help just in general. Okay, you... don't have a spot like up high I can get to that's kind of safe. We'll head out on the flank just in case. I'll kind of spread them around so I can deploy where I need to. I really don't want these guys getting shot up. Uh, stuff could come at me over this side. So I may sort of deploy back, kind of keeping an eye that direction for now.
And my assault squads, I'll just move kind of into the center, so I'll just deploy them where I need to. Mainly, we just want to cycle through crack grenades for anything tough. So use the crack grenades and kind of run away and hide until the crack grenades come back from cooldown, then throw them back out there. And we've also got the healing on these guys, so we can kind of run in and heal. These guys have the photon flash grenade, which isn't terrible. Um, it reduces weapon uh, kind of chance of enemies hitting us in close combat or counterattacking, that kind of stuff. All right, that's everybody. So we have now a giant kind of mess of a line here, but we have to kind of get through this narrow gap anyway. Nobody's shooting. They're too far away. Really? There we go. There's some shots. Okay, those are better targets for us to focus on. Those armored guys are a bit of an issue. You can hear some flyers. Is that it? No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, there's probably tons and tons of chaos troops out here. The more we kill, the faster the enemy turns will go. At this point, it's taking a really long time, which means there's just tons of them waiting, waiting and watching. All right, nothing there. That's good. Oh, they snuck in behind that. You're not so nice. Okay, artillery. Well, that's pretty nice. I'm going to move up and we'll drop some artillery kind of in the middle of this clump, I guess. Okay, nice. Nice grouping. Didn't do a lot to the Blood Crushers, but trashed almost everybody else. Okay, I do have some units with Seeker Ammo. I should probably try to use them first, and then we can make it easier to hit everybody else. Um, okay, you can actually shoot them. Chances low, but that will tag them with the Seeker Ammo. And then I'll hit them too. They're almost dead anyway, though. Okay. I'm going to move you out. Just because you're kind of weak. So I could save the missile teams for crack missiles on the Blood Crushers. I did tag them, so I should have a good chance. Yeah, I can't miss them. So we could just crack missile, or we could do frag and hit a bunch of enemies in that clump. I want to deal with them on the edge. I don't know if anybody can really see them, though. Uh, if we come out way wide, can I get a shot? Yes. Okay. Yeah, might as well use a frag on them. Light them up. Okay, not as fantastic as I hoped. I don't want to move in too far, get too close. Okay, that's one problem done. I think I'll go ahead and just try to destroy this wreck too. Kind of unlikely I'll do anything, but we'll give it a shot. All right, Krom could move up and just chop it to pieces. Wormclaw, that's an option. I don't know what else is out there, though. Let me see what my heavy bolters can do. I don't know if you can see through the forest from here. All right. Uh, let's just gun down the front units if possible, I guess. Actually... Anyone else have Seeker Ammo? Somebody's got Seeker Ammo, I think. You've got Seeker Ammo, alright. Uh, hit the Plague Bearers, please. And 
And then let's also go for this other Blood Crusher unit. Okay, so everyone's going to get a hit chance bonus to hit those targets now. Uh, let's just light up the Plague Bearers. So yeah, now I can't miss. Not quite enough for the kill, though. Okay, do I want to move you up? Not necessarily. I can safely shoot from here, so I think I'll just do that. 35, that's terrible. Just erase these front guys. Alright, excellent job. Next. The Heavy Bolters probably won't do too much to the Blood Crushers, that's why I'm going for the other targets with them. Alright. There's Bjork. Bjork? Nothing's in range. We've got to move up. Alright, so I might move in a little bit more. Kind of tempted just to leave the firing line where it is and just shoot the crap out of them. I've got some close combat troops I can move in. We've got the land speeders we could go in and do some harassment with. But I don't even really have to. Alright, let's try to take out at least one of these. Camera likes to do that. Make sure I'm hitting the right target. Didn't even kill one of them. Crack missiles are kind of iffy. Uh, we've got plenty of other shots with other guns. So we've got las cannons. We've got our auto cannons with the tanks. We've got our uh, dreadnoughts as well. So lots of choices left. Just do I want to move in any closer? I think the Terminators... Um, and you can see some of the targets... So I don't have to really rush in. The tanks, everything's in range. So yeah, we can just kind of stay put, I think. All right. Bjorik, we could move in. I don't know if that would get you in range. I've got kind of restricted line of fire here anyway. So, okay. So that's armor piercing. Uh, let's go for the blood crushers. It's only one Storm Bolter, but it is armor piercing. And I can't miss, so yeah, worth taking the shot. That'll free me up also. We can kind of move you up and freely shoot through the Terminators and try to gun some of them down. Uh, let's pick him off, I guess. And we'll focus on the other Blood Crushers. Not so effective. That's a basic storm bolter. You've got okay, anti-infantry ammo. Yeah, go on the front line. Kind of do a similar kind of thing. Um, with the uh, inferno ammo, you do pretty good damage to infantry. Pick him off, I guess. And do some damage to the Blood Crushers. That's shooting. Keep focusing on these Blood Crushers. Okay. Now... This guy is very good in close combat, but for shooting he just has Storm Bolter. I can use three actions with him, um, so we could kind of move in and do some shooting. I'm going to hold off on that. Let's go ahead and use the tanks. See if I can pick off this other one. That's a no. Fine. There we go. Okay, let's work on this unit. Let's 
Laz cannons, let's go for the chaos spawn in the back. Excellent job. Still hold my terminators up front so we can kind of move in and do some damage. Do I have shots? You don't. Just inch your way up ahead a little bit. Just take some pot shots. Okay, got rid of that cover. That's always nice. Mastercrafted weapons with the anti-infantry ammo. Fantastic. And I guess we'll just take you out as well. I don't want to push my line out too far. I'd like to kind of advance slowly, methodically. I'm going to grind my way forward with artillery and heavy big guns. That's sort of the way things are going to go here. Ooh, we got a uh, soul grinder moving in. Didn't see you before. Okay. Ragnar, let's keep you out on the edge. Since we are dealing with a big dude now. Um, tank, yeah, just move up. If I have any movement, we'll just inch these guys ahead. Yeah. Well, I do have land speeders and assault troops, but I don't want to push them out that far to kind of go after him quite yet. So we'll take some shots. Um, I can get up high either here on the wreck or we could go up in the mountains and possibly get shots at the Slanesh troops. I'm gonna try to just kind of hang out on the edge and sort of hide. If they want to come this direction, let's see if I can get yeah this way. If they move this way, they are really quick. So if they try to come at these guys, we can light them up. The assault troops will sort of keep where they're at. Uh, yeah, go there. Keep you out on the edge. Bikers will just hold back. Assault troops will hold back. And kind of hide behind some vehicles for now. I want to kind of pop out with them, hit stuff with crack grenades and run away. We've also got the healing we kind of keep an eye on. We've got armor piercing there and armor piercing here, so once we start running into more nasty stuff, they're going to be much more helpful. But I can't really get them into a safe position to get shots off. For now, I'll just kind of hide behind the other vehicles. Hopefully where I can't get shot. But we'll see if I can move out, take shots, and then move away with them next time. Krom didn't move. Well, I don't know that I want you to. I might even move back behind the forest. And my wolf priest. Yeah, just get in the center. All right. So let's see how much stuff's going to come at me here. Probably not a ton. Just 
taking a lot of reaction shots to charge in there like that. Say so nobody die, please. If they're not dead, I can heal them up. Okay, and they're still fiddling around. I think we're going to drop artillery here on this group. I'm always on the eye, keeping my eye out for uh, nice clumps of troops to target with the artillery. You are, yeah, about half health. That's pretty good. We did a decent amount of damage to him coming out. The blood crushers are potentially an issue, but I think we'll be okay. Pretty banged up. The priest is kind of out of position. We can move them back and then kind of move over as well. All right. Artillery. I think we fire into this giant mess. Okay. Not great as far as being on target. We spread around a bit, so we did some damage, even to some stuff I couldn't see. So that could be worse. So who wants to kill the Soul Grinder? I can't miss with my Laz Cannons, so let's start there. They're safe shots. All right, not enough. Come on, there we go. All right, well, you're more anti-infantry, but with a flank or rear shot, I could do some pretty good damage there. Um, you can probably finish him off. Let's see. Super close. Four health left. Okay, finish him off. Even destroyed the wreck, so no cover for you. Um, probably next thing I'm most concerned about is going to be the Blood Crushers. Somebody out here. Yeah, you've got Seeker Ammo. Let's hit him with the Seeker Ammo. Who else do I want to tag? The spawn we can probably deal with. I guess we'll go for the blood letters. We're going to do good damage to them anyway. Okay. Now I can't miss. Right. Got an angle here, so we'll take the shots. I'm going to move over. Okay, Bjorik, you've got armor piercing rounds. Let's take some pot shots at the blood crushers. That was kind of sad and pathetic. Keeps wanting to swap between the two. Nice. So just picked them off. All right. Everything else can shred them in the front. My missile team, I might just throw some frag into here. I think we'll deploy the land speeders to take some pot shots. Okay. 
You've got really good range. Oh, that's because you've got the stalker sight. That's why. Increased range and accuracy. Um, well, I mean, I can't really miss these guys. And they're close. Alright, one down. Don't have a lot of targets. Uh, if we shoot back here, I might hit other targets, so I'll just give it a try. Yeah, not much. Okay, other heavy bolters. Okay, whittling him down. Used most of my big guns, but I think it's time to throw some artillery, kind of, in the form of frag missiles back here. And we could crack missile somebody. Chances aren't terrible. So we could go a little further back, do some good damage to him. Yeah, why not? Yeah, about half his health down. Okay. So we've got the Terminators. We've got some random shots here. Ragnar, you just have a bolt pistol. Do you have secret ammo? I can kind of come in and take some shots. Let's see if I can hit these Laneshi troops on the edge. They're really quick, but they don't like aren't able to take a lot of damage. This way I can at least have a better chance of hitting them with something else, depending on what I can get over here to get shots. I could charge him out and just gun them down from that side. I should probably see what my Terminators can do. You, I'd like to get healed. Um, all right, where are you at? No, yeah, we can actually make it all the way over there. All right, let's just head over. They're really my only unit that got banged up. So I can do kind of area effect heal or just a direct heal on one unit. So I'll just do that. So get them back to full health. And you don't have many targets. I could advance the line, but I'm going to hold off as long as I have targets in range. Hey, nice. All right, and that's something we already have is the Wolf Tooth Necklace. I don't think having... If I take it again, it's just one of those glitches that comes up. I don't think it actually does anything. Uh, Metal Storm Frag Ammo makes us much better at killing infantry, so I'll take that. Basically, it's kind of like explosive rounds blow up in the air around the target, so they all get hit kind of the same. You already shot. Do you guys... Okay, you have targets. Your anti-infantry. I don't know how well that would work against the plague drone. Let's throw at least one shot at these blood letters. Okay, and that wiped them out. And we'll hit you. Nice. Really wrecked him. Okay, Logan, you've got a Storm Bolter. Let's see. Yeah, I keep going for the flyer, I guess. Pew, pew, pew. Good hit, though. Okay, excellent. I didn't think that would actually take him out. Right. So, more flyers. Sneaky, sneaky Slaneshi troops on the edge. Ragnar, you just have a pistol. I really don't want to rush him out there. He is really good in close combat, but I don't want to just send him out. 
on a crazy mission out on the flank. Um, I'm a bit more comfortable sending my Dreadnought on a crazy mission out on the flank. If they want to come charge him, that's fine. He'll just destroy them. And I can do some decent damage. I can't really miss the shots here because we tagged them. I've got three attacks. If I can at least take out the Slaneshi troops, I'll be happy. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, you survived. You suck. All right. Fine. Ragnar, let's shift over. Uh, no, it's not what I wanted you to do. I want you to face that way. There we go. And I'm just going to kind of hang out here. We'll use these guys opportunistically, depending on what happens. Um, if they kill stuff, they do get some health back, so I can kind of stick them in a tough fight. As long as they're getting kills, they will keep recovering health. All right, the assault troops we still have. We've also got you guys out on the edge. So you guys could tag and armor piercing, and then these guys armor piercing. So we should probably lead with you. I don't think this is in range. No, it is. Okay, sure. Well, then you can die then. And we'll tag you. So, yeah, we can go ahead and advance. We've got the land speeder out there, too. I was hoping that would finish that unit off. Chrome, we could move around to kind of help them out. You just have a bolt pistol, though, so not super great at close combat. But if they charge up, we can kind of wreck their day. All right, you. Okay, I've got flyers as well. Let's kill them and then hit the flyers. And then I can kind of run away. So I'll just kind of opportunistically hit and run here a bit. Just sort of back off, staying high. There aren't a lot of ranged enemies that can come after me, so if I can just take out some of the faster stuff that might move around, that'll keep me safe, at least for now. So I could put you in a tough position. You do have a force field. So I could go kind of way up here. These guys do have range, the plague drones, so I could shoot him, get a view of anything else that's around. It's very tempting. I'm just concerned about what else is out there on the edge. All right, you've got a force field, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Ooh, okay. We've got another soul grinder coming in. And the flamers. Flamers are always a problem. They're not super dangerous. They're just kind of irritating. Uh, I guess we'll go for you. Not as much damage as I'd hoped. Okay, that's a little bit better. I'm probably safe from the Soul Grinder for now, but if he moves forward, he probably will get shots on me. Um, I do have that force field, so that'll help a little bit. But I'd rather kind of use these guys to attack and then move away and kind of stay safe or um, sort of hide behind other units, come out, shoot, and then back off. So something more like come out, finish off a weak unit. And then just kind of move back behind something else to hide. Okay, anybody I forgot? Well, I didn't even use my other predator. I must have been saving the shot for something. Um, okay, let's go for you. You 
not great. The assault squads I'm going to hold off with for now. If that other walker comes out, then we might look at trying to get them in position for crack grenades. For now, I'm just going to kind of stay put. I do have that heal on him I keep forgetting about. So I think we're in an okay position for now, although he's a little bit at risk. He might draw some fire, but he can kind of take it. Okay, he's going to come attack you. That sucks. Oh, flyers coming way over. I mean, at least I have the ability to fight back in close combat with that unit, but he just did a ton of damage to me. As long as I don't get guys killed, I can sort of do some healing, because I do have a little bit of healing here and there. And that's why I don't mind them attacking him in close combat. If I hit him back, I'm going to get a way better exchange than he is. Okay, see if my force field is going to save me. Unfortunately, I can't repair the vehicles, and that's why I'm kind of trying to be a little bit careful with the land speeders. He just walked into some other shots, didn't he? No, I guess he's got to come a little bit further forward. I mean, if you want to engage my wolf riders, fine, sure. Come on, give up. Say that's it. There we go. Okay, so how badly hurt did you get? You're pretty trashed. You're half health. That's not good. Okay, you just killed this idiot. There we go. Okay. Problem is him being out here on the edge. We could try to destroy this. This guy's got to die. Let's tag him with the seeker ammo. Come back. I'm going to let you guys heal him up. Strike from the skies, brothers! All right, I'd ideally like to have the land speeders hit the soul grinder. There's a nice big clump. I kind of want to target near this in case I might destroy the structure. We'll also hit a bunch of other enemies, hopefully not hit my own guys here. It's a lot of really accurate shots. Yeah, it is almost dead. Once I destroy that, then we'll have a lot better shots at him. Um, okay. where my secret ammos are. There's my secret ammo units. Okay. Let's go ahead and tag him. Then I guess we'll tag the other one at full health. Death to those who oppose the All right. Heavy bolters. More heavy builders. I can't believe you didn't die from that. There we go. Okay, let's go for another one, maybe. 
All right, destroyed the cover, so that works all right. That'll open things up a little bit. Missile team, what do we want to do? I can't miss you. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's see if I can take him out with the missile team. Not enough. Alright, Land Raider, we've got lots of targets. I'd like to focus on the Soul Grinder. But I do want him dead as well. Um, anything on this edge? Not really. I mean, I can use the Predator. Okay, it takes him out. All right, you kind of in the way. I can move him out. We can move him up on the line, so we'll do that. Um, yeah, hide behind the Land Raider. Okay. Commence Operation Kill the Walker. One good shot, one not so good shot. Seems to be the way it goes. Um, okay. Look, he does have a force field, so there's a chance with these shots that he's just going to ignore some of the hits that come at him. Which is a little irritating, but what you going to do? I don't know if I want to move you up. Stay there for now. All right, so time for the LAS cannons. I was hoping for more. Okay, I've got a bunch of other just kind of regular shots we can focus on them with. Um, I think I'm out of the arc here, so I can get a nice flank shot on him with some armor-piercing rounds. The only way I can level up my vehicles is to... Or the only way I can heal my vehicles is to level them up. Oh, that's so close. So going for kills with them is definitely not a bad idea. I'm just going to kind of get away and hide for now. So sort of opportunistically bring him in, kill stuff, and then get out. Unfortunately, because of his arc, it's going to take a lot to kind of get around here. I can sort of avoid it if I'm careful. Okay, I can see him from there. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to. There we go! Then, oh, that's a terrible shot. But then again, I may not have too many other shots at him. Yeah, we'll take it, I guess. If I miss, I'd probably hit the wreck, so we just destroy it. That's fine. Okay. We've got a whole bunch of other shots still. So I think it's probably time to move the Terminators forward. Nothing in range. 
I don't want to go too far forward, especially out on this flank where I don't have a lot of like close combat troops. I don't think there's going to be much back here. I think everything kind of came at us already that was there. Come down, take some shots, and run away. Okay, anything wants to come that way, we'll light them up. Uh, Terminators, we are going to have to move in because we are not in range. Sort of try to get a line going here. If I've got targets, I guess I'll just stay and take it. Bjork. Chaos spawn shouldn't be too much trouble. You already shot. Uh, let's go there, I guess, first. Clearing them out. I'll see about inching everybody else up that's got moves left. I'll just kind of try to get the line built where the Terminators are. Ragnar, let's stay closer to the Terminators. So here we can just chop these guys to pieces, hopefully. I said we can just chop these guys to pieces, hopefully. There we go. Um, if I have any shots, I'll take him first. I could charge in and hit him. Uh, is there anybody else I can shoot with? Let's see about moving you guys up around. You can't move. You can move. You can move. Uh, Logan, yeah, let's come around. I have killed Winter Prey. I'm sure you have. You can't move. You can move. Uh, yeah, go there. That's fine. Trick not. Artillery, yeah, park behind the Dreadnought. Okay. So the assault squads will keep kind of back for now. Um, I could, yeah, I could run up and toss a crack grenade, but then they're kind of out in front, and my Dreadnought can take care of him without a problem, so we'll just do that. We'll just kind of keep them sort of around. Uh, you can, yeah, stay there, that's fine. I could even run in with these guys and get some kills, but I think we'll just send the Dreadnought in. We spot anything else? Yeah, there are some plague bears, but that's about it. Okay, I'm gonna back up. Let them come towards me. 
Chrome. I'm just kind of fill in the gap here, I guess. Yeah, Thunderwolves. I'm just going to stay by the tank, um, just kind of protecting it from any close combat stuff. I don't think anything's going to come at me now, but there might be some flyers or something over here that might come at me. Um, so I'm just going to kind of check that side. I think we'll be okay, though. There's still more. That might be it for what's left kind of here, defending this. It's still taking a long time for the enemy turn, so there's got to be a lot of Chaos Troops left. They're just on each of the different objectives that we have to grab as we get out here. All right, well... You guys, my tag ears. Okay, just kill him. That's fine, sure. I do have an Auspex. Yeah, it is ready, so I could kind of move up just to check out some stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Aspects here. Yeah, so the objective's clear. There's a few more out there, but not a lot in this area. I'm kind of surprised there's stuff there at all, actually, because there's no objective there. Okay, we'll just continue moving up. Since it's somewhat safe, at least. Okay, my right, line's getting kind of messy, but we'll have to sort of reform it. Um, I kind of want to move everybody up, and then we'll sort of try to get a line going. Then I'll worry about artillery and stuff after that. Uh, go there, I guess. Out of range. I want to make sure I don't hit my own units, so I'm being a little bit careful. If it's 100% to hit the enemy, I can't hit my own guys, even if they're kind of in between me and the target. And I can safely shoot through a unit if they're directly in front of me, but other than that, I have to be a little careful. Bolters, excellent. No. The demon troops are really tough, but I've got so much firepower, it's just not going to matter. At least right now. I can't believe you can't see them. Yes. Yeah, these guys do massive amounts of damage. To infantry, anyway. Armored stuff, not going to work so well. It's anti-infantry ammo. So can you guys go forward? No. You don't have a shot. Let's bring you over a little bit. Death to those who oppose me all part. 
Okay. You come on out as far as you can. Alright, another one down. Maybe destroy this wreck. Just because it's kind of blocking my line of sight a little bit. You can't see it because there's two units ahead of me, maybe. No, nope, let's not blow up our own people. Actually, that's a smoke, so it'd be fine. Uh, Land Raider! Can you see it? No. Too much stuff in the way. Probably my Dreadnought. It's being finicky about trying to move. Okay, everything else I can see is way over here. Now, I can't target them. It's like a wrecked knight there. There is some terrain I can target. I'm just looking to see if there's anything I can hit. Yeah, nothing looks like I can actually hit. I wish I could just shoot at a location on the ground with the artillery, but I have to actually target enemy unit, or sometimes there's terrain that I can target. I can't even target that. Okay, Logan. So Morkai is the one that we're concerned about. So we want to keep you safe. Actually, can you shoot that? Yes. Not that I expect you to do much to it. Ragnar, let's go... Actually, if I go out here, I can get all these guys to move faster on the next turn, so we can try to sort of close the trap door here and get them to swing way out, so we can kind of get a line maybe along this way, and then maybe next turn, then this way, and then kind of advancing from there. But it's going to take a little while to kind of get them organized and moving up in a way that I feel safe. Uh, I can shoot that. I, mean, I might as well, I guess. Sure, blow it up. Alright, assault squads, we're going to keep hidden in the back for now. You guys can move into the rear. So we could take a peek around. I don't think we're going to spot anything we haven't already seen, even if I run way out here. Um, I would probably like to destroy this structure to get some visibility. There's the forests as well. They're a bit of an issue, but it's not super terrible. Chaos wants cover if it's going to advance. I'm just going to run on out here a little bit. So I can shoot all of this stuff if I want to start wrecking things. Um, this is the main one I'm concerned about. Let's just do... It's not going to do much damage, but I'll just... I've got nothing else to shoot at, so I might as well do something. So we'll start working on that. Uh, Alright, land speeders I think are all that's left. So I think it's safe out here. Definitely not seeing anything. I 
can come over the hill here and maybe get some shots at them. Which I'm sure is not going to make them happy. But they can't do anything about it. And then I'm going to just kind of back off. Let's look that way. Let's have you kind of do the same. If I can get a kill with him, I might get enough experience to level up, which would get me some health back. Okay, that's another kill. Yeah, okay, we've got a lot of experience to go. So I need over a thousand XP to get him to get some health back. I really wish there were some units like Tech Marines or something that would let you actually repair your vehicles, but I guess that might be too powerful. Oh, almost forgot my priest. Um, nobody's hurt, I don't think, for the infantry. Just some vehicles have taken some damage, and that's been about it. All right. I can't see much. I don't expect anything's going to come charging at us here. So it's just going to be some turns of kind of positioning here to kind of get ready to move out. Destroy some terrain that's kind of blocking my line of sight. Those kind of things. I can kind of opportunistically kind of pop up and do some more shots like I was doing. Oh, they might have vacated and left. Yeah, it looks like they bailed. They might be coming around this way, though. Okay. Oh, I spotted one there. I mean, I can come down here and probably shoot him from that upraised position. Okay, let's start moving in. I don't expect there to be anything out here, but it is possible, so I'm going to keep an eye out that way. But this is just going to be a while, sort of moving everybody around. Unfortunately, my dreadnoughts are a bit slow, so it's going to take a while for them to kind of catch up. Um, all right, that's got to be increased movement there. Let's go here-ish, I guess. Terminators are usually pretty slow, but we've got that movement boost from Ragnar. But it only affects the infantry. It doesn't affect anything else. If I don't have targets, let's keep shooting this thing. Because that's really blocking my line of sight. Grabbing the right unit, sometimes a hassle. Destroying a building through firepower. Yeah, you guys are awfully slow. I don't expect to see anything here, but there are things on the other side of this mountain that might come our way, too. If you can 
can actually see anything here. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Next heavy bolter. Can't shoot it. All right. Okay, that is not the unit I thought I was clicking on. I thought we were using the Terminators there. This game does kind of need an undo button. That would be really helpful. Especially when you're kind of zoomed out and trying to pick a unit and get them to move where you want. Uh, and even just kind of facing the way you want. Sometimes it's very easy to kind of click on the wrong unit and have them move. Okay, it's kind of a chance I might have hit my own guys in the back there, but I didn't. Let's go straight on in. Just to look around. Okay, we've got some okay visibility. There's some debris there. We could also destroy that potentially, but I could actually use that for my land speeders. Let's get you in the center, kind of. Bikers. I want to go out here, maybe. I mean, I'm kind of using the scout a bit more. So we'll kind of look around and see if we spot anything else. You guys are also pretty quick. But I'm going to leave you here, kind of guarding the tanks for now. Artillery. Can I throw anything? I can. I don't know if there's anything else around, but I'm going to go ahead and shoot anyway. Okay, it didn't look like I hit any other targets. I didn't see any other damage numbers pop up. Ragnar, let's get right back into the middle of the Terminators. Assault squads, we are going to keep holding back for now. Okay, land speeders. Just in case anything's going to come this direction, we'll keep an eye out that way. I don't think so, but there are some flyers and things could come over the hills. And I could kind of opportunistically move out there, but I'm going to hold off. I will just kind of move up where I'm in a position where I might have a chance to kind of fly down and do some damage if there's other stuff around. Is that everybody? That's everybody. Okay. Here, at least one more walker somewhere. longer it takes, the more enemies there are. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing I can see there. All right, what I'm going to go ahead and do is stop it here for today. Um, so this is the last mission. I'm expecting it's going to be quite long. Um, just the mechanics of moving these squads around and getting them deployed where I need them to be, even if we're not engaged in combat, is going to take a little while. Um, so even just kind of getting everything set up where I'm going to have a line kind of here where I'm happy with is probably going to be a couple more turns. Uh, some stuff might come trickling in, but I don't expect a lot until we get to the next objective. 
um, or at least to the next kind of choke point, which is probably maybe here-ish somewhere with this wreck. But we've kind of got to go through this big mess and go around and then up and then all the way to the back. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, so I'm not sure when I'll get back to this. I'm hoping to kind of knock this out in a couple more sessions. It sort of depends on how long the mission is. But uh, yeah, keep an eye out here. We'll come back and continue with this story mission, uh, which is the last story mission of the Horrors of the Warp. So yeah, thanks for coming by. Hopefully I will see you all again another time. Um, I've been Disturbing Puppet, and this has been Warhammer 40,000 Sanctus Reach, the Horrors of the Warp DLC. Have a good one.